In this video, an elite group of clone troopers led by Commander Cody and supported by a pair of ISP speeders storms a Separatist beach stronghold. Their mission is to capture the turncoat Sly Moore, who has betrayed Supreme Chancellor Palpatine by traveling to the Separatist army in order to divulge Republic secrets to the waiting super battle droids. Yes, we are playing a modified version of the Star Wars miniatures game from Wizards of the Coast. Hello gamers, Matthew here from Grey Army Gaming in lovely Fogaloon, Sweden. For today's game, we have an exciting setup here. Sly Moore has come to the Separatists with information about Supreme Chancellor Palpatine, and Palpatine has now sent a group of clone troopers to try and stop this from happening by capturing Sly Moore. Over here, we have uh, three groups of two. Uh, we have some grenadiers, and over here we have Commander Cody, who is leading the charge, and over here another group of grenadiers uh, and a commander and these guys will end up coming onto the battlefield in their first turn now over here on the other side we have got some ISP speeders that will be flying in across this watery space through these stone pillars they are the main diversion and distraction to try and allow for uh, Cody to come behind and see if he can actually pick up Sly over here defending this area though the separatist stronghold on this beach we do have two Two Hailfire droids, and along with them, we have a couple of uh, uh, battle droids here, a couple of battle droids over here. Uh, we have another battle droid here, a super battle droid commander protecting Sly Moore. And this is how the setup looks, and we will see what happens. Let's go ahead and roll off initiative. All right, here we go Separatist army using the red die, and the Republic using the green. And looks like we have the Republic with a 15 to a 12. All right, let's start out with our diversion by bringing these ISP speeders flying in. Let's split them around that rock. And for the sake of the power here, let's have both of them focus their attacks, their shots over onto this Hailfire droid. First speeder, twin attack, hitting on a four plus. Yes. And yes, next speeder, same thing. And yes, second one, 14. Four shots going through, 20 points of damage for each, but damage reduction of 10, which means 40 points of damage goes through, dropping that hail fire, fire droid down to 20 hit points. Over to the Separatists now, we're gonna have each one of these Hailfire droids fire off some missiles, and they will both focus their attention on this speeder right here in the middle. First missile attack, a save on an 11 plus. And it is a 16, second one. That's a four, no, 40 points of damage goes through, dropping that ISP speeder down to 30. Next off, let's activate uh, Cody here and this clone trooper and bring them onto the battlefield. Let's have both of them take shots over here onto this Hailfire droid. We'll start with Commander Cody. Cody's hitting on a two plus, and it is a nine. 20 points of damage, damage reduction 10, so that brings that Hailfire droid down to 10 hit points. Clone Trooper hitting on a seven to finish it off. Yes, it's 11! <laughs> and with 10 more points of damage, that will be enough to bring this down to zero, removing it from the battlefield. In response to that huge explosion, we'll have these super battle droids activate and try to shoot off on these guys. All right, let's go ahead and move these guys. In response to that huge explosion, they have charging fire, so they can move up to 12 inches and still attack, still fire. So let's go ahead and just bring them around here. On second thought, I'm going to have both of them charge into Commander Cody. 14 to hit on the first one. No, it's a five second one. 15, 20 points of damage. And that will bring Cody down to a total of 30 hit points. Next thing, let's activate these two guys here on the corner and see if we can climb them up on this wall and help out with those battle droids. First off, let's have this commander attack that super battle droid, needing a two to hit. And it's a nine, 10 points of damage, bringing it down to 10. 
This might sound dumb, but we're going to throw a grenade over here into this whole pile. Cody is going to have to take a save as well. On an 11 plus, nobody takes any damage. Let's start with the uh, first of the super battle droids. 17 passes. Second one. 19 passes. And Cody... 17, he also passes. So as the Grenadier throws his grenade over the wall, it slips out of his hand, goes long, and all three of them are able to avoid any damage. Next, let's activate these two super battle droids and have them do the same thing with their charging fire. First one on the top, hitting on an 11 plus, and it's a 12. That's gonna be enough to kill that clone trooper, only 10 hit points. The second charger down here is going to go ahead and try to take a shot off onto Cody. Needing a 14 for 20 points of damage. 18! No! So a massive shot here. 18 does 20 points of damage. That's the remaining damage for Commander Cody. He is taken off of the battlefield, leaving a few clone troopers, an ISP speeder, and another ISP Peter left. I can't even talk. This is crazy. This is a really massive blow to the clone troopers. It's their chance now to activate and come back. Let's run over to our two over here on the edge and see if we can get them in here and take some shots off, help out a little bit. First off, let's have the Grenadier shoot over here, throw a grenade onto these two, saves of 11. First one on the top. No, misses it, second one. 17, so he is able to avoid a 10 points of damage to the one on top. The sergeant here next to him is going to target this same super battle droid. Two plus to hit for 10 points of damage. And it's a three, so he is successfully taken out of commission. Remaining three activations go to the separatists. We're going to do this. We're going to keep Slime more where he is in the middle and send those two other battle droids off to each of their sides. Super Battle Droid Commander taking a shot off on the Sergeant. We need to show a 10. No, it's an 8. It misses. Security Battle Droid here attacking the Clone Trooper Commander. We need to show an 11. 3. Miss. So that brings us to the end of round 1, and we have had a pretty good fight thus far. Let's see how things are standing now. We have one Hailfire Droid left after the ISP Speeders knocked it off. The other one, ISP Speeder over here, has taken quite a bit of damage. This one is doing okay on the far end. Over here, we have Commander Cody. He's been taken out of commission, and uh, we have a couple uh, Super Battle Droids that are damaged. Um... But things are looking pretty good over here on the land for the Separatists. Let's go ahead and roll initiative for this important roll. Once again, here we go. Red for the Separatists, green for the Republic. And it will be 10 to 7. The Separatists will begin. All right, let's start by going over to this uh, Hailfire droid, moving it up and taking some missile shots off onto this ISB speeder. Firing off the missiles, we need an 11 plus save, otherwise that ISP speeder is gone. And it's a 12, it makes the save, yes. Second activation, let's charge in with the security battle droid and tie up that clone trooper. 11 plus, 20, natural 20. So this is absolutely amazing. With cunning attack, we get plus 10 damage against a figurine that has not activated this turn. He has not. Plus 10 damage, doubled for 20. 30 points of damage. That is enough to destroy that clone trooper commander. Not looking good for the clone troopers. Over to the Republic now. Let's have these ISP speeders cruise up and take shots off onto that Hailfire droid. Four plus, twin attack. First one goes through, second one goes through. The other one shoots for a 15, goes through, and last one, seven. So 40 points of damage total. Next activation, let's have both of these super battle droids and the super battle droid commander fire off onto that clone trooper up on the top. Starting with the commander, 10 plus. 19. And that is actually enough damage to take out that commander. The sergeant, I mean. As such, this guy's going to direct his shot at the grenadier instead. All right, here we go. 
20, 20, double damage. That is enough to knock out the Grenadier. This is unbelievable. So the rules are really in favor of the Separatists. Let's do our last activation now for the Republic and have him throw a grenade over here onto these battle droids. They are saving on an 11. Let's start with this guy on the bottom. No, a three. That's 10 more points of damage. He is out. And for the second guy now, save on an 11. 12, he makes it. In response, we'll activate him, spin him around, and take a shot off on that guy. Hitting on a 12. Five, it's a miss. And that will bring us to the end of the round. Here is where things are standing at the moment. The uh, clone troopers are getting absolutely decimated over on this side of the field, but the uh, ISP speeders are still doing really well. They've been able to pick down some hit points off, off of this guy right here. They are moving into the battle, so it's hard to say at this point who is going to win. We need to roll for initiative. And it's going to be the clone troopers with a 17 to a 3. Let's keep on advancing with our ISP speeders. Here we go. Having moved in place now, we're going to have them uh, take some shots over onto this Hellfire droid. Let's start with the guy in the lead uh, getting his twin attack. All right, hitting on A4 for 10 points of damage, and it's a 14-second shot. 20, natural 20. He ignores it, of course, because he's a droid, but it doesn't matter. That's a total of 20 and 20 with damage reduction, enough to take him out of the play field. And without all of the heavy fire power of the Separatists is gone, let's have this second guy right over here. Let's have him try to target the uh, super battle droid commander right here with a twin attack. First attack on a 5 plus, 10, second attack also on a 5 plus, 20, oh that's 20, 40 points of damage, enough hit points to kill him. Alright, seeing what's happened, let's have both of these guys spin around and try to take a shot off onto this lead speeder here. Hitting on a 13 plus, a 2 for the first one, second one, a 10, both of them miss. Final activation for the Republic. Let's charge into this uh, security battle droid with the Grenadier. Five plus to hit and kill. Four, it's a miss. Coming back on an 11 plus. And that's also a miss. And as part of his turn, let's just have uh, this guy right here, Slymore, come swing up here. And actually, we'll put him right over here behind that super battle droid. All right, here's how things are looking now. We have got almost no clone troopers left over here, but the ISP speeders are flying in at this point. It looks like we may very well have a Republic victory as they swing in to snatch up Sly more. Let's go ahead and roll off initiative. And it's going to be 7-4 to, to the Separatists. First off, let's have this security droid attack the Grenadier. With cunning attack, 7+. 19! That's enough damage to take him out. Second off, let's slide this guy over here in front of Sly Moore. We'll have him take a shot off onto the lead ISP speeder. And we're actually going to combine fire, have both of them shoot at the same target. 9 plus for 20 points of damage. 6 is a miss. The second one, natural 1. Oh no. Back to the Republic. Let's go ahead and continue the charge with the speeders. Lead speeder here, taking a shot over onto this super battle droid. Three plus to destroy him. Sixteen! Likewise, we'll have the second guy here take a shot also at the other guy. Same thing, three plus, twin attack. Nine! Final activation, let's move this security battle droid up and protect Sly more and also take a shot off on those ISP speeders. Needing to show twelve plus. Sixteen! A mere ten points of damage dropping him down to sixty. All right, end of that round. The speeders are cruising up. Last initiative roll right here. 17, and we're going to go to the Republic. Let's start with this lead speeder here. Instead of moving, we're going to make a double attack from him over onto this security battle droid. We're really going to try to make a statement. Double attack. We need a four plus on one of these. Natural 20! And that's enough damage to take him out of commission, falling to the feet of Slymore. 
and realizing his defeat of his last battle droid, Sly Moore will make his way down to the shore, offering himself up, hopefully uh, being able to receive grace from the Chancellor as these ISB speeders swoop in, pick him up, and take him back to the Senate. Well, there you have it, folks. A quick and exciting game of Star Wars miniatures in which the Republic was able to swoop in and do some massive damage against the Separatists. Those ISP speeders really did a good job against the Hellfire battle droids, not giving those droids a chance really to wreak the havoc that they normally do. And with that, they're able to pick off the rest of the super battle droids and eventually to pick up Sly Moore in order to bring him back to Supreme Chancellor Palpatine for questioning, perhaps imprisonment, we will see perhaps in a future game. Well, if you like this kind of content, please do give me a thumbs up and uh, give us a subscribe. Leave a comment below and we'd be happy to make more of this kind of content and gameplay for your enjoyment. But most of all, thank you for joining us here today at Grey Army Gaming for the future of gaming.